Hi guys, this is Jay Weston from Hyperfocal Design and I just thought I'd make a really quick tutorial today about using HDRs in Blender's cycles. So I'll be using a free HDR which I'll supply in a link below. So if you want to grab that you can follow along or download it after. It's just a, a smaller version of one of our uh, VHDRI skies. Um, I'm using Blender 2.67 and if you haven't already you want to you want to switch to cycles render there. Uh, go ahead and delete the lamp so we're just using HDR lighting and then I'm going to add a plane uh, so we can see the effect of the HDR lighting and shadows from that cube. Okay, now to load in your HDR environment map, you want to come over to World here, and then Surface. This may be slightly different depending on your version. Uh, click on Use Nodes, leave the, leave the surface as a background, and for color we want Environment Texture. Open up the HDR you're using. That's the freebie you should be able to get via the link. Um, and that's really all you need to do to set up basic HDR. Uh, to test how we're looking so far, you just want to come to uh, the rendered mode. And you can see we've got directional lighting coming from the sun and casting a bit of a fuzzy shadow behind the, the cube there. Uh, so it looks uh, all right so far, but the the biggest issue uh, with cycles and with high dynamic range images, particularly with uh, a single bright light source, is that you get these speckling artifacts. Um, I'll just turn the uh, the samples up a little bit, but um, this, even with like a, a large number of samples, you'll you'll see that the these little speckles or fireflies as they're sometimes called will just stick around. Um, so yeah you can see sometimes you know you lose some, sometimes they come back in and that's uh, something to do with the the way that Blender and a lot of rendering engines uh, sample HDR images. Um, I think it's something to do with having like a very tiny little spot for the sun which uh, yeah, you know, apparently I think a lot of rays will sort of miss the sun and cause a, a light, a dark patch, and the odd ray will hit the sun and cause a, a, a bright spot. Don't don't quote me on that, but uh, I think it's something to do with that anyway. So to reduce that effect, uh, we want to come down uh, back into the world tab, into settings, and then use multiple important sample. 256 uh, resolution you can already see a, a fairly big difference uh, but I've found turning it up to kind of 2048 or 1024 is uh, much better you can see that it's it's brighter I think again because more samples are hitting the Sun and you get quite a, a realistic shadow coming off of the the cube with uh, this realistic effect of the shadow blurring out at the edge here and um, and some blue fill light due to the the sky color as well, which is nice. Um, I'm quite a big fan of uh, of Blender and Cycles, which is one of the reasons I've made this video, uh, and it's free as well. So I'm just uh, yeah very impressed and wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to use our our skies in Blender Cycles. So that's pretty much it. If you still have any issues with um, with fireflies. Uh, that may happen if you're using a super high dynamic range image or a very very high resolution one. Um, you could try turning up multiple important sampling or the other option is to come back into the render panel and change clamp here under sampling. So that essentially just cuts down on the maximum brightness level of uh, I think the HDRI itself um, or some kind of internal brightness maximum I'm not exactly sure but um, I found that sort of 3 to 5 is about the level you want 
Um, it won't make a huge difference in this case, but that's something else you can play with to try and reduce the uh, spackling firefly kind of issue. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Um, uh, you should be able to see links below this video, both for the Blender file and that uh, free hyperfocal HDR. Um, and stay tuned in the future, I'm, I'm also thinking of doing a uh, quick tutorial using uh, our new product, which is a studio lighting product that lets you uh, place individual HDR lights within a scene on uh, on planes. So I'm gonna uh, I'm thinking of running through a uh, a tutorial on that as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, catch us soon. Bye.